Mm-hmm. Hey y'all. So what's um, up, y'all? Yeah. Uh <laughs> like we know we we'll apologize that we didn't update you all, let you all know we were gonna do this show. This is kinda like a pop up thing. Uh you see I I'm in the bed and got my night clothes on and got my little plaits going. Um, <laughs> but I, I, you know, certain things happen and I'm like, you know what? We got to go live now. And so this was one of those things. And so you all get to be a part of our life. So there's no preparation all of the time. Um, we're family here. So welcome, welcome, welcome remnants gathering. Um, a vision from 2012 that I had has just been fulfilled. And and I completely forgot about this vision. And today, I kept hearing about NASA watching this blue planet and it's blocking the sun. And I was just like, you know what? That sounds so familiar. So after watching probably two or three videos, let me give you a quick overview because we might not go through the whole, all three videos, most of them, but a quick overview. The Hopi Indians um, had a, a prophecy, a, a, a vision basically of future events and the way the world would end. And the Hopi Indians gave nine warning signs for the end of the world. Now among those nine warning signs, almost every one of them I had in this vision or another vision and I have communicated that to you all and posted it on YouTube. That was the first thing that was mind blowing. The second thing that was mind blowing is a particular Indian chief. Um, can't remember his name, but a particular Indian chief is speaking about this prophecy. And he's basically saying that black people, Native Americans, um, yellow people, Tibetans, as they call them, and white people, how we all play a role in the four elements and how we have been scattered across the four corners of the earth. And he speaks about how we're going to be gathered again. Men are in the vision, men were growing their hair along. So that makes me think about dreadlocks and men not cutting their hair anymore due to assimilation. And kind of going back to scripture with Samson growing his hair out because your hair is actually a, um, operate as spiritual antennas. So he saw this in the vision and he it was he was very significant um, in pointing out that black people were going to go through two phases. The first phase was going to be a peaceful uprising against the system and the second was going to be much more aggressive um, to the point of civil war. Now this video was recorded like back in the early 90s. So I it's really awesome that he was kind of able to give us foresight of what we're experiencing now as so-called African Americans and finding out who we are. So the Hopi prophecy, the Hopi nation, um, my vision from 2012 and something that just occurred that NASA has just released that I feel everyone should know about and for those of you who are watchmen and and people who are seers as well it's our responsibility to share this with the body of christ with the bride so it's only one person on here i appreciate you whoever you are for being on here i don't know what's going on people usually jump on when we jump on here um so if we're just doing this for you live we're doing this for you so thank you and stay with us. I'm going to show you the video of the prophecy first from 2012 that I gave. Then we're going to show you some of the video of the Indian guy breaking down the Hopi prophecy and connecting it to black people and, and just connecting it to people in general. Um, and then we're going to show this one. Right. I said first one will be this one. Yeah, and then that one. Okay, so let's get into it. I, I'm just I love when my prophecies get fulfilled because then it's able to validate um the most high speaking of and landscape. I'm trying kind of to um be calm while I'm saying this. Hit the green arrows get it this wasn't just a regular um video. Um, I'm just trying to be calm while I'm saying this. Hit the green arrows get it. 
Let me go ahead and do the obviously I'm supposed to share this. Um, but in the dream I was standing outside and I think I was standing in the parking lot and I looked up because everybody was so panicky. They were rushing to the grocery store. Um, it wasn't snowing, it wasn't a storm, I mean it was sunny outside. And I look up in the sky and I could see debris circulating it up in the, up in the atmosphere. And um, I, I looked over when I have divine visitations, um, the difference between a divine visitation and a regular dream is I'm aware. I'm conscious, I'm aware, and I think and speak the way I really think and speak. I'm in control of what I'm doing. When I have just a regular dream, I'm not in control of what I'm doing. Usually I'm not myself. Um, so that's why I said a divine visitation or vision. And I, I was completely aware. And I asked, I was like, what's happening? And she was just like, oh, they talking about the news and how the earth is rotating faster because that's how it appeared. <laughs> The clouds move faster. You know how the clouds move when it's really, really windy outside? That's how the clouds were moving, but it wasn't windy. I could see trash and debris circulating in the air. And the sun was so, it appeared closer. It was so close that it felt like it was burning my skin just standing out there. And I, I kept saying, uh, you know, I kept saying, are we getting closer to the sun? Is the sun getting closer to us? Um, and the crazy part was, out of a hundred people I saw, only six or seven of them was actually like paying attention. Everybody else was concerned about stocking the house up with food. And um, you know, and I just thought it was odd that they, I don't know, it was just like, the only thing they was worried about was having food. That was it. And it's like people was going crazy and they was hitting the grocery stores like crazy. Look, y'all have not been sleeping. I know you can probably look at me and tell I have bags under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping because this has been like um, night after night after night. Every time I go to sleep. Um, and yesterday, okay, so the debris out in the atmosphere, the trash, it was a lot of metal. Looked like old satellite pieces or uh, I'm not sure what else it was, but all of that was just in the atmosphere. Um, and the earth was rotating faster, so like the sun was closer, or solar flames or something, whatever it was, it, it seemed like the sun was right above us. Um, the night before, I had a dream that I'm standing outside in the field, and I look over at the sun setting, and it's an object so huge in front of the sun where it was like blocking like one third or one fourth of the sun. And I'm standing there and I'm like, is this, is this landing? Is it a meteor? And it was so real, y'all. And I could see this so good. Um, it was a black object. I usually go online and try to find something to show you all what I see. Um, the best I can do right now is describe it. I may try to draw it and upload it later. But I could see this object in front of the sun. And it had been there for like two or three days to weeks. Because people on the news were talking about it. NASA had no idea what it was. Um, and, and people were just in a panic. So, um, you know, this is the second day in a row I've had these divine visitations of something concerning the sun and our atmosphere and the earth not rotating. Like time and space is changing. It's some type of shift happening. And it's changing everything. Not just the poles. Um, North Pole and South Pole. I mean, it's all... Not let up on me about this I just dreamed it again so I just woke up literally out of my sleep it's like forget it let me record it and um and and and, and y'all can look at my history that's why I leave it up there I have not like researched a lot of stuff on this so this didn't come from something that I was looking at so look just be aware for those of you that don't believe in God I, I can't judge you I can't condemn you but I can say we're not having these dreams for nothing. And the the people that have a relationship with God and they spend time in his presence and his word, he reveals things to us for us to share with everybody else. And I'm just a watchman. If I don't do what I'm supposed to do, then that blood is on my hands. It's just my job to be the messenger and, and share with people what I see happening and things that I see coming. 
and I, I don't care how many um, ridiculous messages I get, I'm going to continue to do what I know God put me here for because I know somebody is going to watch this and come around. Somebody go get confirmation out of something I saw. I don't know. I haven't researched any of this. But with the sun, the earth rotated faster, all the debris, the trash, and that big object, it, it almost looked like a spaceship, but more like a planet, like a spaceship, but a planet where it's being inhabited. Um, that's what it looked like, and it had this really peculiar fourth dimensional shape. I can't even explain. I don't even think we have anything um, where I could show you that looks like that. Uh, it just looked four dimensional to me. Um, yeah. but yeah, so that's the vision I had. So usually you all tell me, um, something you saw, please send me some links. Uh, so I know I'm not crazy. Um, but I do thank you. And this just has me so distraught right now. You all do not understand. I wish I could just take y'all with me for you to stand there beside me and see what I see. It is, it, it definitely, you will be crazy if you don't keep your relationship with God how it's supposed to be. So, thank God for him and his grace. I'm not crazy. I know some of y'all probably think I am, but I'm not. But <clears throat> the Lord is coming back. Get ready. Get your house in order. Pray. And ask God to guide you in your everyday life. Because you it's better safe than sorry. You know? And you don't, you don't want to have to spend eternity separate from him. And you won't lose anything if you start praying and believing in God. And actually, in time, you will make sense of all the things that happen in your life from being in his presence. He will give you understanding. So, I mean, it's not such a bad thing. I love it. My life with him is incredible. And I think it's awesome that I'm able to see things that haven't happened yet. You know, so... I, I just, I thank God, and I'm going to use my gift to do what he wants me to do, but you all, keep doing your part, keep encouraging me, I appreciate it so much, because it, it, it is a little disturbing sometimes, some of the things I see, and I don't tell you everything, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting better with being more transparent and talking about it, um, because where I come from, if you dream or have visions, you don't talk about it, and it, it runs through my family. But I'm one of the first in my family to be like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it. So, here it is. I'm like, bye. Okay, so if you want to watch that whole video, just type in Real Disturbing Vision. Did you find your dream home? Before um, everyone else. About the Earth's rapture changing, if you want to go and watch that video. Look through my history, because I've posted so many videos, it's hard, they're hard to find unless you search for them. Okay, so here's confirmation of that vision. Um, from 2014, this is two years after I had the prophetic vision. And then we're going to show you what has just happened this week.
destruction. The nine signs of destruction were described by White Feather, a Hopi elder. The first sign we are told of the coming of the white skinned men like Pahana, but not living like our lands will see the coming of spirit. A strange beast like a buffalo, the land will be crossed by snakes of iron. The sixth sign, the land shall be crisscrossed with river black and many living things dying because of it. Join the tribal nations to learn their ways and wisdom. Some believe the arrival of the Europeans, uh, you know, the uh, exploration of North America, but white signify the arrival of cattle, the fifth sign. The ninth and final sign of destruction hopes. You will hear of a dwelling place in the heavens. Very soon after this, the ceremonies of my people will cease. Book of the Hopi, in which he states, the end of all Hopi ceremonialism will come when a Kachina ceremonialism will coincide with the destruction of the fourth world by war, leaving only the Hopis and their homeland. So the war is a spiritual war having to do with morals and ethics and profit and all that goes with it. According to Hopi prophecy, as reported by Waters, shortly after the blue star Kachina is visible to all and the day of purification is, it is said that if the true white brother is successful in finding those who still follow the true Hopi way of life, the world will be aided of the prophecy one in which the true white brother fails in his mission and is unable to find uncorrupted men and women. Then it is own. And some very interesting uh, uh, links to the um, Grand Canyon dwellings as well. Okay, so um, basically um, the vision I had, if you notice everything that I saw is chemtrails, which is pollution, which I saw. And it also makes you think about the internet and the worldwide web that is happening in many cultures, many ethnicities, and many different religious backgrounds where people are. Um, but in the Bible, if you are a Bible reader and believer, Samson grew his hair out and antennas. And so he said that people were going to go back to that and that people were going to also return to their roots. It's happening even with white people. A lot of white people are, even pastors are saying, I just realized who I am. I'm the ancestor of Edom. Um, and I need to repent for this. I did in the vision. He also talked about how... Um, how war was going to happen and that the third world war actually was going to start within the united states and don't you see that happening now don't don't you go to the store and and see people it's almost like there's zombies and they're shopping and shopping and shopping they're not aware of this toy on the shelf and so in my vision i saw people very consumed with material things and food and shopping and they didn't at the time when i had this vision i had never heard of the hopi people I didn't know anything about Blue Star Kachina. I also talked about the poles shifting. He spoke of the poles shifting as well. Uh, so there are so many similarities to these things. And it's no way I can make this up. And you are able to see the name of this that shows the fulfillment of what they said. Then scripture says they're not a prophet. That they're prophesying lies. And so that, that is my purpose here. Um, I, I don't call myself prophetess camp as a watchman to share these with you all. Now, please just hold with me for a minute. I know you probably could be doing something else so fun, like maybe watching VH1 or BET or MTV or any of the ABC news. So I'm glad that you're sitting here with me through this and I appreciate you for this. The next video is by a lady. Her name is M Lord and Golly, I'm supposed to share this with you all. So her video is about 30 minutes long, um, but trust me, it is, it is really good, and you're not going to want to miss any of it. So sit tight with us about 30 more minutes, and then I'll come back and get, you know, recommend you doing that. 
because I never did draw the picture to show you all what I could see, but I didn't think that it would happen this soon. I didn't think that the prophecy would be fulfilled as soon as it was. So guess what? Now NASA, my vision, NASA had no clue what to do for dimensions. And we've been hearing a lot about for the fourth dimension lately. And so it's just, you know, you can't make this stuff you all now sit tight about 30 more minutes and um thank you for sitting with us okay babe. makes me uncomfortable is when the science starts agreeing see the people around me jaws have collectively dropped at what you just said i mean we, we appreciate your candor however it doesn't help the rest of us does it all the rest of the eurozone just like a cancer is going to grow and it's going to be too late what i would say to everybody is get prepared uh there's not a time right now to um, wishful thinking the government is going to sort things out. The governments don't rule the world. Goldman Sachs rules the world. Goldman Sachs does not care about this rescue package, neither does the big funds. So, actually, the first thing people should do is protect their assets, protect what they have. Because in less than 12 months, uh, my prediction is the savings of mi millions of people is going to vanish. Uh, and this is just the beginning. So, I would say. Be prepared and act now. The biggest risk people can take right now is not acting. Alessia Rastani, thank you very much for talking to us. You dream about the economy at night? I try not to. Yeah. <laughs>
One moment. You want to be fast forward? Now, me and my star or a gas giant planet is lurking at the outermost reaches of our solar system, far beyond the planet Pluto. According to the British newspaper, The Independent, the object is four times. moving planets don't move like that they rotate maybe mm -hmm. but, but not move forward at that speed it's so easy to deny things people but when when you can actually see it yourself it is difficult to deny This object is moving pretty fast. And this is in slow motion. They slowed this down so that you could get a better view of this object. Do you all see Orlando, Florida um, earlier this year? We witnessed it ourselves and took pictures of it. And uh, it was just amazing how huge, how bright, and how close it was that it made the northern star look like nothing, like a speck of dust in comparison to it. So it is very close. And we really don't know how it's going to affect us. But it's definitely having an impact. And you better believe the leaders and rulers of this world are having meetings and deciding on what to do. But trust me, the, the masses, what they call sheeple, we are not in those plans. They could care less what's going to happen to us because they already have their underground bunkers, just as scripture says. Scripture says that they're going to pray that the rocks fall on top of them. And, and, and that basically means they're going to run and hide underground. But you cannot escape judgment of wickedness and evil and wrongdoing. And judgment has to come. If you want to skip through this and go to the next scene. Blue Kachina or type in H-E-O. This is what NASA has named this particular planet. But I really don't think it's a planet. Um, but this is what NASA is calling it. When they first saw it. Just like how we saw it. It has been in so many pictures. And actually some of the pictures is right in front of the sun. It's huge. It is huge. Look at that. It should be a picture in here where it's right in front of the sun. This is not Photoshop, people. It's, this is from a lot of different people. November 9th, 2011. About 4.30, quarter to 5 in the afternoon, I'm in southwest Arizona, and this is day two, filming this mysterious spot, just below and to the right of the sun. I have no idea what that is, I never state claim to what actually I think it is, I don't know what it is. However, on my video, similar pictures as this one, and labeling it as the blue patina. Other people have said it is a planet. 
That's very possible. However, I don't think the planet would be visible that big anyway. And some people have said that I faked the video by filming it through my car windshield. Well, let me point out the fact that again, there is my car. So I have no idea what that is. It could be anything really. Uh, let me show you what a lens flare is. See those little two dots I got circle in the sun there? That is what I consider a lens flare. And the one that's underneath the sun there, it's pretty much stationary, so. I don't know. Anytime something can sit that close to the sun and withstand that much heat, that gives it. It's the best thing I've seen so far. It's almost... It's pretty fast. But as you can see, it's going in front of some of the stars. So, I don't really need to point to it. I think you can see it. If you point to it a little bit, I think you'd rather watch just uh, see it going through the... There's something different. Sometime when it gets up. Bear with us, y'all, because so, we're just going to kind of skip through. So, what? It was way early. I mean, way late tonight. I don't have some kind of a relative or something if he actually got footage of what he got because it would have been something that was way lower in our atmosphere and it's just a minute here through. it is talk to them while you skip through this is thing here i think nas is really just of this uh i think we gave you all enough to go on right, to begin doing on your own all right. um, <laughs> so nasa is admitting to this um you have i'm not i'm not with that i'm not with just telling people things um, to get clicks on Hopis, um, but natives um, from the northern atmosphere, natives from the, it's based on the sun, the moon, and the stars. Um, and so they have noticed so this has kind of changed. <laughs> they can see you. I can't believe everything they're saying. So that's why I'm mentioning these um, other. Um, so there was one other image. I can't seem to find it. I thought it was. So I just wanted to share this with you all. I, I think this is a main reader, whether you study ancient texts, ancient religions, you 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 might not even care about, you just trying to water and put up some rice and some beans and kind of have it emerge in the sky. He will give us signs within the sun, the moon, and the stars. Scripture also says, um, Christ himself says, I saw Satan fall as a bolt of light into the earth. Is this the, um, is this, the antichrist system being set up and is this the actually incarnation of evil descending to of all of this happening right now and to have so many different sources i'm going to try to find that picture for you all if i find it i will upload it uh, where i'm explaining the prophecy <clears throat> there were comments on there three to five it sounds like what you were seeing is blue kachina come across this today to find out NASA is watching this object and they, they really don't know what it is, what could be done about it and they don't know how much harm they can't script that and um, um, so whether you are a believer or not wherever you are I think that judging people for believing what they believe and where they are but more so giving you proof of truth in which you cannot trust you literally have to filter through all of that stuff like Daniel did in the book of De Daniel I'm um, just like Enoch and the book of Enoch is really big now people are finally see when I get these visions and when um, they manifest and I'm um, in the natural realm and so I thank you all so much and just so happened to go live on my secondary channel but it's easy to find my primary channel to the thousand subscribers on the other channel so if this was interesting to you and if you if ancient text interest you i definitely recommend that you subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so whenever we come on live Peace.